So what is going on everybody, my name is Mehul and welcome to this video in which I want to explore what is a node module, right? So the thing that happens when you install a node module that is a little bit different than what actually is a node module is in itself. So you see that I'm on the, I'm on the NPM page of Lodash, which is a very, very popular utility for node and it comes with tons of handy features. So if I go to the GitHub repository of Lodash, what you're going to see is all the source code for Lodash, right? So this is more or less, mostly a lot of part of this would be actually present when you do an NPM installation of this Lodash module, right? So the idea with the modules is that it's going to fetch a lot of code, well, mostly a lot of code, from a single package name itself. So when you write npm install lodash, we'll see what install is. But when you write that particular command, what's it going to do? It's going to come to npm. It's going to fetch the code which stores, which is stored on npm. Well, you see that it is on GitHub as well. But just like I said, your packages are hosted on npm as well. So when you do npm install of lodash, it's not actually going to GitHub. It's actually installing it from the source um, with a file which is hosted somewhere on NPM's infrastructure only. It pulls it down, it, it extracts that file and it places it into a folder known as node modules, right? So let's just go ahead and create a very basic project saying NPM basics, right? And I'm gonna open this folder and I'm gonna say NPM install lodash, right? And we'll cover all these commands, but npm install lodash would just go ahead and do whatever I said earlier. So let's just go ahead and hit enter and don't worry about these warnings for now. What we can see is now we have a folder called as node modules inside our directory. You can see right here, we have a node underscore modules folder. This is, this is going to be the primary place where all of the external, um, packages would be placed by npm right so for the most part you never really need to open or explore this folder at all right you can just leave this folder as it is you'd never need to open it you never need to add files or remove files manually from this folder for the most part again and uh, yeah if you go ahead and take a look here you're gonna see you get lodash as a dependency here so all of the dependencies would be listed as folders here and right here for the lodash you can see it has got all these files and if you take a close look you're going to see that these files are pretty much what you're going to see on github as well right for the most part so you know you can just go ahead and see um, what github has in these folders at the top but yeah this is basically um, same as uh, all these files you can see right here but a lot of npm packages what they do is that they post the original source code on github that is the non minified and like nicely commented and uh, beautiful code on github and for the npm what they would do is they would compress it they would optimize it uh, they would minify it and then they would ship it so for the most part you might a lot of times you might see that the um, code inside uh, the actual npm files is not same as the code which is available on github so just keep it that in mind npm and github are not synchronized right it is no it is no responsibility of developer to have the same code on the github repo as well as on the npm um, as a package so yeah that's that's basically it for this video i just wanted to give you a brief overview of a single module um lodash as a, as introducing you what modules are and yeah, I hopefully uh, assume that you learned about node modules a little bit. And this was uh, enough nice little push for the beginning. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. I'm going to see you pretty soon in the next one.